What's up, man, players? Man, it's all 24 7 here. Going over Pistol Bunch Tight End, one of the best formations in the game. Now, I'm gonna do a long breakdown of this. Try to stick with me. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get to it. Now, this scheme can be found in the Jets playbook, New Orleans playbook, and the Cardinals playbook. For this breakdown, I'm gonna be using the Cardinals playbook. Thanks for watching, and let's get to it. Now the first play we're gonna go over at this formation is called halfback zone. Now when I run this run, I like to flip the run to the direction of the three wide receivers. And that's just because this run gets much better blocking when you can run behind your three wide receivers versus running to the right side behind one tight end. Now this run is very, very effective. I like the fact that you can cut this run to the outside. You can cut this run up the middle. And I like the fact that this run has home run potential. There you see the blocking downfield. The wide receivers block perfectly downfield for you. Wide open running lane to run through. Let's check out the replay. Now we're in the game. Some gameplay footage online, and that's what I was talking about. Right up the gut. For an easy touchdown, again, right up the gut. Not every run's gonna be a home run run play. But sometimes you get perfect blocking, like right there, and can waltz into the end zone untouched. So sometimes you gotta make somebody miss dip your shoulder fourth down and two up the gut and we get about 15 yards so it's a really really versatile run cut it to the outside cut it up the middle now after this run we're gonna go over some passing plays now passing at this formation is even better than the running plays But there you see, you can also run it to the right side, as I did on that play, and you can cut it up the gut also. So the next passing play we're gonna go over is verticals. And verticals is one of the best passing plays in the game. Now, how I like to run this play is sometimes I like to slant my tight end and then I just run it normally. That's the only adjustment that I make on this play and that's just because the routes work perfectly with one another. Now the running back route is on a delay route and that route allows him to get some separation against man coverage and underneath the zone coverages. Now the crossing route that B is on it's an effective route, but it has to be a very good receiver with very high route running. That route is very, very tough to stop, but he does have to have good route running. Willie Sneed, not the fastest, but his route running is sharp. His cuts are sharp. And you can also lob up the outside route that X is on. If it's no safety back, you can lob it up or throw a bullet once he gets a step on the cornerback. There you see right there, throw up a lob, get a step, touchdown. Now let's show the game. The safety is preoccupied guarding Y. We throw a bullet pass to X and celebrate untouched into the end zone. There goes the halfback zone for the two point conversion money there goes the running back route very very effective route out the backfield it's a blue route or purple route which means that the running back will not be picked up by the defense because they think he's blocking you can also throw it to x after he clears the flat zone or the linebacker and you can throw it to him like that also. So this play has a bunch of different routes, bunch of different reads that you can torch the defense with. 
And we're just getting started. So now I'm gonna show verticals that get to cover two. And you can throw that pass. It looked like a really tight window right there. But you can throw that pass consistently against a cover two shell. Now this pass I threw was a bit late and that's why it looked very, very tight. But the next play, I'm gonna throw it about a second earlier and it's gonna be much more wide open. There you see right there, much more wide open. Safety does not get an animation touchdown. This play is perfect for a big play touchdown opportunity. It gets a variety of coverages. I'm gonna show you how to beat cover two, as I'm showing you right now, cover three later, cover four. That pass right there is not open if the defender is underneath. You have to wait till he clears like he did right there and then you can make the pass. So make sure he clears the defender before you pass it to him. So wait till he clears him, okay? He's passed him. And then you make the throw as soon as he passes him. It's a tight window because you have to throw it before the cornerback or safety gets over there, but it is open. Now, this is a pass against a cover three. An adjustment against a cover three you can make is when you send the receiver on a fade route. When you send him on a fade route instead of his default route. So what we do is we put Y on a fade and putting Y on a fade allows us to throw a pass lead inside against a cover three. So here you see Y is on a fade, but X is wide open. We pass it to him, easy first. We put Y on a fade, then we can pass lead it inside. So since I'm on the left side, you wanna pass lead the fade route to the right so that it pass leads it inside, hold down A, and you can get about 25 to 30 yards of pop against a cover three. Now it looks like a very tight window, but I do this pass consistently. There you see, 37 yards against a cover three. So be sure to fade him. If your opponent is running a lot of cover three, I usually fade Y, and here again, touchdown. And that was against a cover two. So even if you fade him and they run a cover two right here, you can actually pass lead that route to the left. And that's what I'm trying to say. This scheme can get kind of complex, but you have to be able to read the windows. It takes some practice to know which way to pass lead it. But here you can playmaker your running back by holding the right analog stick up so that he cuts up the sideline against a cover four. Now he cleared the linebacker and I'm holding down LB and I pass lead down. So I'm holding down LB and I'm holding the left analog stick down so that he throws a back shoulder pass and I can kneel down and get it before the corner has time to react. There you see again, you can make that pass and it's very, very difficult to pick off. There goes the seam route up the middle against a cover two invert. So cover two sink, Tampa two, cover two invert, cover three, you can hit your running back against a cover four. Now this play right here is called cross drags. And I really like this play in the red zone because it is a man beater. All these routes on this play beat man coverage. I'm gonna go over that play a, a little bit later.
But here you see the play again. Now this, instead of low passing, I hold down LB and then I hit X. So as soon as X makes his cut, I'm holding down LB and then that throws a high pass. So holding down LB throws a high pass. There goes that play cross drag and then holding down LB and then down on the left analog stick throws a low pass. Now we're gonna go over to play cross drags. And this play, I really like it in the red zone and it gets man coverage. Man coverage, you have the drag route, but the crossing route that Y is on is your big play route. Now check out the replay. You have Sneed underneath. He's being guarded by two people. Then you have your tight end on another drag on the opposite side of the field. But Y's route and X's route are really the big man beaters. X's route takes longer to develop, but normally Y is normally open before him. So if your opponent is guarding Y's route, then that leaves X open. If they're guarding X's route, that leaves Y open. Now, just a red zone tip. You can run the play verticals in the red zone and that route that B is on, you can hold down LB and high pass that route. So here you see you can high pass it so that if they're trying to use it, you can throw it over their head. If it's linebackers around, throw it over their head. There you see right there, in between two defenders, but we're holding down LB, or L1 on PlayStation, we're holding that down and then we are able to high pass. Now just as a recap, you can hit that X route very quickly as soon as he makes his cut if the defender does not get far enough outside, you can hit him like that linebacker is guarding the middle and you can just throw it to the sideline and get about 10 to 15 easy ones. Now, when you wanna pass lead that Y route inside, most times you will have to fade him against a cover three. So I threw a pick earlier because I did not hot route him to a fade. But once you hot route him to a fade, it gets a cover three. You can pass lead it inside and catch it. There you see again. Now, if you have really, really good timing, sometimes you can fit that pass in there without putting him on a fade, but it's very, very difficult. There you see the safety, since he's running down the middle, instead of on a fade route, the safety can actually guard him much easier than if he's on a fade route. Now there goes the difference right there. I put him on his original route, the safety reacted. Now I put him on a fade, and the safety is unable to get there in time. Now against a cover four, as I said, I really like to hit my running back. So I playmaker him by holding the right analog stick up. He's able to go up the sideline against a cover four and get about 20 to 25 yards himself. Now, if you have a mobile quarterback, you could also hit X. 
X is open, you could have thrown that to the sideline. So you have X that gets a cover four, or once the linebacker recovers, playmaker, you're running back past him, and you can get about 20 to 25 yards from that pass right there. So I really hope you enjoyed this breakdown. If you have any questions, hit me up. Check out my offensive guide. I just released it. It's name your price. Go to the page. Just put in whatever price you want to pay. You want to scoop it for free, go ahead. I hope it helps you out. You want to slide me a few, I appreciate it. I just appreciate you guys watching the video. I really hope this can help you out help you win some more online games. It's a lot of people struggling and I really hope this can be the answer. So be sure to smash that like button, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting a variety of tips throughout the Madden 18 year. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.